listen to this. It is not all about money. It's not all about I have money, I'll do this for my wife. No. Sometimes some husbands they don't have money. You understand? And then you need to love them and respect them. Some husbands they don't have what? And you need to do what? Respect them and love them. Uh, I started to love my wife when we had nothing. So, unfortunately, I cannot go back to where I had nothing. But still, in our relationship, there was love, though we had nothing. I could see the love. My wife, she got a job, and uh, a job that she was working, because she was educated. It was an engineering job. She was an en doing engineering job in AECI, if I remember. And then uh, I got the card. She will give me the whole card, the whole card. And I was doing the same when I was working. I gave her the card, so she was home. I gave her, she gave me the card. She was the one who was working. She bought a car. She was not using it. And I was the one who was using the car. To extend that, it looks like I've given her Coravella that time. And I was very hot at that time. <laughs> but uh, to be honest, uh, I don't know if I can tell you more than that. <laughs> but to be honest with you, when I remember that someone is working, giving me a car, giving me a card, uh, I was, I'm not a fan of going to the shop, shops uh, buy things. Still, I will wait for her, she come. But I had children, I must send them to school, uh, clothe them, doing. In fact, I was a, I was a wife that time. Because I have to take care of children, I must check their bath, wear clothes, going to school, whatever. Because she was working, I was not doing that. And now I'm home, so I say, okay, and I'm a pastor, I've got these children, they have to go to school. I make sure that they clean, they bath, what? Go to school. And uh, our marriage was very sweet, very sweet. No one, she never complained. Never complained. So, married, no money. Money came on my side when I was trying to work a little job. Still no problem. No problem when she was working. She bought me a BMW car, it was still a nice car, very beautiful car. I was driving it. She was working. And we even moved to town to stay there. Things were coming, coming, coming goes away until she resigned and then there was nothing again. We are together believing God and God does it his way. Amen. Amen. Me, I just want to teach you that take care of this person you marry. The way I saw, you might not be, if you're a housewife and you're not, or you are you are your house husband. You can be a housewife or your house husband, isn't it? Yes, because this other one is working. Do everything there. I was doing washing. I put them there. I've seen neighbors looking at me laughing. And then I, because I knew they would laugh. 
I'll bring their expectation to so them to love more. You know, I'm sure you understand what I mean. So when when I realize I put this there, they laugh. I search for many like them. <laughs> like, I love people to love. I'm telling you. You don't know me. I love people. To. Uh, me, I want people to talk about. When you talk about me, I become very happy because I'm focusing on my good. I'm sure you understand that. It encourages me to hear that there are some people who are criticizing me. It really encourages me. I begin to say, hey, I didn't know that um, I've got impact. So uh, I'm saying this, if you are married, you are a housewife or a house husband, do your best. This person is coming from work, is tired. You understand? You, nowadays, you people, you are even better because you have these issues of machine, isn't it? Yeah. You can just put this thing machine, drrr, 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 you do that. By that time, you, me, I do like this. You understand? By that time. So, and everything was perfect. It doesn't change me to be a woman. It never changed me. Even your husband, your wife, when she's working and you're not working, she doesn't change to be a husband, isn't it? You're still having the same way body God has given you. Just be faithful in your marriage. If you're hearing me, say amen. amen. God wants, uh, you know, he wants to bless people who won't fight in their marriages. Who won't fight? Uh, me, I'm taller than my wife. As you can see me like this. So another one can still be shorter, but that has no change to be a husband. So we need, we need to check our hearts in our own marriage. We respect and love one another. And I believe that's how God is going to bless you. So, you know, I, I, I saw my wife wearing those dress, and I was showing people there in the church. If you came for the first time, you would say, I have pride. You don't know where I come from with this woman. You don't know where I come from. Where I come from is very far. If you can look at this girl, stand up. Yeah. Look at this girl who's 33 years now. And check if I will have to play. Where's Terry here? Yeah, Terry's not here. Look at the wife of Terry. Stand up there. Look at the wife of Terry there. You will see that our children were very small when we started to preach together when we had nothing. But if you see people like this, you see them like this as we are still preaching. And without a scandal. You people will understand that. You cannot blame me and say, now he's having pride now. You're the one who's going to be cursed by God. Because remember, these children, we groom them up when we are following God without even money. We never follow God because of money. We follow God because of no money. We seek him as he is. Many children were, were born. Look at this girl, come. Okay. This girl uh, were born from church. How old are you now, my girl? I just turned 18. She's turned 18. 18, a mom was a member of the church. A mother was the one who used to take care of my children. A mother, she's still here in church. So there are many people you can ask if we are false, ask them. You can go to the mother of this one after church, who's your mother? Okay, I want to find out something. <laughs> Tell them who's your mom. Okay, God bless you. So what I'm trying to say is, please, I believe marriage is important. Me, I just want husbands who take care of their wives. Who will take care of what? And the, the wives who respect their husbands. The wives who respect their husbands. And this thing we are preaching. We are preaching this thing, we are saying it, but we still have criminals here in church. 
churches. We still have churches. These churches, I will get them. I will sit on their head one day. We still have churches who are troubling their wives. Their wives can't say anything. Utini? You come to church. By the same mouth. God will close your mouth one day. God will close your mouth. If you are close to us here and you are in charis, we must never hear any cry. Are you hearing me? We must never hear what? Any cry in marriage. Any cry in marriage. Can you just come here, you people? Can you come here? Come here. Just face these people. Can you see these people? This lady, she is beautiful. This one, she, is she not beautiful? Every lady is beautiful. Every lady is what? Every woman is beautiful. If you are a Christian, you have this one. Can you see this one looks like she has got a round face? Huh? This one is like a, a straight up face, like a horse one. <laughs> Can you see that? This is a Chinese face. Yeah, this one is a Mozambican face. <laughs> All right. If any face must not rob you. Please. What God has given you has given you. Amen. God bless you. God. So, Mama was asking me if I can have services of people who are married because she knows how I live. And then I'm praying that if God give me that grace, I will accept. But God has not given me that grace. God bless you.